I have been hearing around YouTube that The Neon Demon is a pretty crazy movie. I was watching this movie and I was thinking, this movie's pretty calm, it's pretty calm, pretty calm. Then I was like, Oh my god! The Neon Demon is directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, who also directed The God Forgives, Bronson, and if you guys don't know me, Drive is one of my all-time favorite films. I mean, look at my avatar on this page. And this stars Elle Fanning as Jessie, who just moves to Los Angeles. She wants to become a model, and she's really young. She's 16 years old, and she has such natural beauty to her. Well, the other models in Los Angeles that have been on this game for many years are a little bit jealous of her. And the jealous turns to hatred, and the hatred turns to some 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 messed up stuff. I adore Nicholas Winding Refn as a director. I think he has a great cast, amazing, amazing visuals. And when he works with Cliff Martinez scoring his music, it's a great team. And when we get a great cast, we get Cliff Martinez back here for another score with Nicholas Winding Refn. And I really enjoy this film. There are some problems with this film. It is not Nicholas Winding's best film and is not Drive to me. It's a little bit better than Only God Forgives. Bronson is still really great. So let's dive into what I thought about The Neon Demon. First off, The Neon Demon is a treat to the eyes. It is absolutely beautiful. I love how Nicholas Wine Refn directs his movies. He captures such great lighting in his movies. If it's just a simple stop sign or whatever, it looks beautiful. And The Neon Demon is nothing short but beautiful. It is an amazing looking film. And he has a lot of scenes that please the eye. Now Drive was like that too, and Only God Forgives, and now The Neon Demon, he seems to work a lot with more brighter colors as he progresses in his career. And the other thing I liked about Neon Demon was Elle Fanning. She did really great in this movie. In the beginning, she kind of started off a little stale, a little boring, but when I looked more into it, she was really shy and really didn't know anybody in Los Angeles when she came to become a model. She didn't really know anybody, but she opened up a little more and she had a lot of vulnerability to her and she did a really great job with her acting. And like I said, the movie progresses into something really crazy. Her acting progresses into something really great. Now with a lot of Nicholas Winding Refn films, we get a lot of more style over substance and that's one of the issues in here as well, like Only God Forgives and Drive. Um, there's limited dialogue when uh, someone's talking to someone, you expect them to answer right away and they take like 20 seconds to respond. There's not much meat to the storyline when I looked at it, it's not a lot to get invested in. Yes, I'm pleased of how this film looks, the music is riveting, but I would like a little more of a story and it did turn into something interesting but throughout not so much. And yes, uh, this film does get a little weird and crazy at the end and I think he honestly kind of held back a little. I think with what the storyline was going on at the end, he could have went with a lot more and it would have got really crazy, really NC-17. For the good majority of the film, I think, oh, this is a, a pretty calm Nicholas Wine and Refn film. You know, it's just she's taking pictures, people don't like her. And oh, yeah. There's a certain part in the film where her character changes, the story changes, and it gets crazy. So The Neon Demon is a good Nicholas Winding Refn film. It is beautiful. I love Cliff Martinez's score in here. He was amazing in Drive. His score is riveting all the time. If he could just score every single movie, that'd be great. Elle Fanning did an amazing job in here. I love the color. I love the direction. I love his wide shots, his slow shots, his angles. He is a great director. Storyteller, not so much, um, but when it comes to directing, he can direct a good film. So The Neon Demon, I'm going to go ahead and give a B plus. So have you guys checked out The Neon Demon? What did you think about it? What is your favorite Nicholas Winding Refn film? You guys know what mine is. It's Drive. It is my second favorite film of all time. It is a beautiful film. I'm not going to get talking too much about it, but it's Drive. What is your favorite film? Comment down below with your answer to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies on YouTube. You can also find my Facebook page at Just Watch Movies. The link will be down below for that. It means a lot if you guys like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check my Facebook page out as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is Just Watch Movies, and you stay classy, YouTube.